Filmic Pro is like a box of chocolates. You know it's chocolate. There are a lot of options and there's an occasional surprise. If you didn't already know what these two bits of info meant on your screen here, then stick around. They're actually quite helpful to know before you hit that record button. I've been using Filmic Pro for a while now and never paid much attention to those letters and numbers at the top left of my display. After all, this app already has so many options to understand as it is. But then I noticed it changed after I made a few settings adjustments. What could this mean? Well, there are two different things going on here. And as you adjust one, it affects the other. Let me explain. How familiar are you with bitrate? Basically, it's the amount of digital information stored in your video files. Theoretically, the higher the bitrate, the better the quality. However, the higher the bitrate, the more storage required for each file, and the harder your phone's processor needs to work. On Filmic Pro, you have four options. Economy, Standard, Filmic Quality, and Filmic Extreme. Filmic Extreme is somewhere between 100 to 120 megabits per second. Filmic Quality, around 64 to 75. Standard is around 50, and Economy is about 35 megabits per second. So have you figured part of it out by now? The top letters here identify which bitrate you've set. Economy, Standard, Quality, and Extreme. This can be pretty important depending on your phone's processing power, how much storage you have, and the level of quality that you're looking for. Check your Filmic Pro app and see what settings you're using. And if you found that useful, I'd sure appreciate a like. That leads us to the number value below. See how this changes as I go from economy to filmic extreme? This number represents the estimated number of minutes of filming you have left at your current settings. So the higher the bit rate, the less space and time you have to record. You might want to quickly glance at that the next time you start filming. And if you like that, check out this video here and see what settings are best on Filmic Pro to get that cinematic look.